All right, so I picked up this Moroso 22640 vacuum pump off eBay. Um, the guy advertised it as used. Um, I got it out of the box and took a look at it. And there's a lot of play in this shaft here. So, the guy said, oh, yeah, I'll work with you. You know, I know it's used and everything. I didn't realize that... Uh, that was like that though. He said, "So you know, I'll, I'll split it with you. I'll give you, I'll give you forty bucks towards a, a new shaft. A new shaft is about seventy plus shipping from Jegs. So I got a shaft. So let's get this thing apart. I'll show you the wear on the shaft and uh, see what we can do about replacing it. All right. So basically, you just <clears throat> oh, there's washers too." them. And then the pump just pulls apart and just watch the veins. So you don't want to drop them and break them. washer from the end there. There's a bearing in there. So bearing down on the bottom. We'll get that out in a minute. And then on our vein here, or our rotor, uh, there's two small Allens. It's an uh, eighth inch. See there's a little light scoring on here from <clears throat> the shaft being worn out. It's not really that bad. I can't really feel that too much of my fingernail, but and here's our shaft. And you can see there's a, a very significant wear in here. The bearing basically just completely wiped it out. This thing must have been making noise and the guy either couldn't hear it or didn't care to tell anybody. There's our washers. And then we have another bearing here and a seal. Let me get something to pull the seal out, knock this bearing out, get the other bearing out, and then we'll put this baby back together. All right, so I'm just going to take a screwdriver and get under the seal here. the seal. Some very nasty looking funk. That would be all that shaft material. Out 
we just need to find a socket that's smaller than this to drive this bearing out. I have a piece of um, tubing here that we can knock the bearing into. and easy. Now I'm thinking about to get this other bearing out. I think maybe if we pack some grease in there and push the shaft down into there that would probably work its way up that way. So you can see the bearing down in there. I've done this to get pilot bearings out, so I imagine that this might work. This might be just making a big mess. It's working. Of course, since I'm throwing the shaft away, this is actually making the perfect tool. So, <clears throat> you can see the bearing actually is coming off the, the back of the pump, so we'll just <clears throat> do this a little bit more until it comes out. So the bearing popped out. So now we just have to clean all the grease out of here, install the new bearings, and put this back together. So I'm 
me do that and then we'll get the kit opened up. All right, so now that that's clean, we have a 97180 rebuild kit. And looking at this new shaft, and looking at the old shaft, got a problem. So, the old shaft has these smaller holes, and the new shaft has counterboard holes that don't go all the way through. Let's see what we got in here. Got two new bearings, which actually look a lot nicer than the original ones. And we've got uh, four thrust washers, two bearings, a seal, and these large screws, which are not going to work on this rotor. All right. Moroso and see what they say. Alright, so here's what Moroso said I needed to do. Spend more money. We got three new veins. And we got a new rotor. So apparently, at some point, Moroso decided to change the design of the shaft and the and the rotor, I guess, for reliability or strength or I'm not sure why. So now we have a new rotor that's actually a bit heavier. But you can see that this is actually drilled for the quarter inch screws. I think they're quarter inch. No, these are 5 16ths actually. But anyway, Nonetheless, that's what I had to do. So let me, uh, that was $40, by the way. I guess considering what it is, that wasn't really too terrible. The veins were actually more money. The guys told me to get a set of veins just in case. I'll show you how to measure the, uh, the, main, the veins to see if they're worn out. Um, at this point, I'd have spares. I thought they would probably ship those in a little bit safer fashion but anyhow uh, I think we're going to use the harbor press to um, to push these bearings and the new seals in so let me take the camera over there and uh, get you set up all right so this is my harbor press this is the pump and here's one of our bearings Sure you can put these in with a hammer but uh, you know people will complain about that because that's what people like to do on YouTube is complain so I'm just using an extension upside down and there's one bearing in place there's that pump face ok 
Okay. That's two. And now we just need to put our seal in place. Perfect. All right, so now we'll take our new shaft. Put that aside. And through here. We'll take thrust washer, bearing, and another thrust washer. And our new rotor. goes on there like that. And that's going to require a different socket. A little bit of blue thread locker. This pump will be more robust, I suppose. You don't have to gorilla these, just make them tight. That's kind of neat. The uh, the shaft just kind of floats on there. I guess that's cool. I guess that's good. Cool. Now we can put our veins in. The veins have a little chamfer on here. That goes right here. There's a little chamfer right there. That goes to the inside. Now, what you need to do is you need to put the vein in the rotor and measure this. If it's more than a hundred thou below the surface, then these have to be replaced. These are dead even. So we're going to leave them. Two. Three. Now the reason why the chamfer... Sorry about that. The reason why the chamfer is because that's where the thrust bearing is. Pretty clever. And then you put a Rust washer, bearing, and finally the last thrust washer. Then you can just load it into the pump. Now this thing's offset in the center, so you just basically that's it. They say you can put a skin of of uh, RTV on there if you want. Um, I'm going to see if this thing leaks, and then I'll worry about that later. I'd rather not put any sealer on there. It's machined real nice, and not a lot of oil should travel through here.
Okay. Rebuilt pump. So anyway, the whole point is, is that when you buy one of these used, be prepared that if the thing's not advertised properly, you might get a piece of crap. So, anyhow, I uh, probably have more in this pump now than if, than if I bought a new one. But uh, well, live and learn. So, thanks for watching.